What's up gang, welcome to day six. We're gonna get right into it. We're doing some landscaping today. I'm taking you guys along with me and uh, I just wanna say thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna take you along with me to my job. Um, I'm a little stressed out, it's a lot today, but uh, that's why I brought my camera along so I can just talk everything out to you guys. Like I said, I wanna make this more immersive. So the goal for today is I pretty much have six to eight hours to remove six bushes I want to keep as much like root attached as possible because my goal is to actually bring these plants to my house and um, plant them there. So we'll see how that goes. That's the goal. If I realize, you know, I can't do around one bush an hour, which is how long it should be, I'm going to just cut it down to the stump and then drill into it and put a chemical in it so it dies out. And I guess I'll just burn the bushes in a fire or something. But, you know, ideally I do want to save these because I, I quoted this to be you know a certain number where it's I'm getting paid to do my landscaping at my house and not the other way around these bushes go for like a hundred fifty dollars a pop to buy them point being is though is I'm trying to save as much plants as possible from landscaping as I can so I don't have to go buy plants myself appreciate y'all for tuning in and uh, I'll keep y'all updated all right so as you guys saw I have a giant load right now y'all I got this is like the most bush I've ever hauled in one load, so. So I was there for about two and a half hours. I got like two good bushes that I know are gonna transplant well. And there's one super large one that I'm gonna try to plant. Got two bushes for sure out of the three. All the rest, there's two too close to a gas line and I don't wanna rip up a gas line or anything like that. So for the rest of the bushes, I'm just cutting them down to a stump. With my chainsaw, I gotta buy a brand new blade so I don't have to go back or anything like that. I'm gonna spend like an hour planting these at my house, just dig them in the ground real quick, put a sprinkler by them, keep them watered. And then the rest of the day, I'm just gonna cut all that stuff up and just try to figure it out how I'm gonna get it all back in one load. Four bushes is a lot, especially that, you know, they're huge bushes. This is a lesson I learned where you know, I quoted this job around like $60 a bush, plus there's other stuff. But realistically, I should have quoted it like $120 per bush. That way, you know, if for some reason like this, I don't actually get to keep all six bushes, at least I got quoted properly to remove them. You know what I mean? Like, originally they just wanted a quote to remove them, but in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm gonna make the quote a little bit lower because I'm not removing them. I wanna keep them at my house. So I think that's a little bit of a mistake that I made, but you know, for two and a half hours of my time, I now got two good bushes and maybe one solid huge one, which would be really nice. If I could keep the super tall one, that would be really cool. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to keep you updated and take you throughout my day. Cause after this job, I gotta get home, edit and post day six, baby bars all right y'all so the bush you see me carrying is the tallest one i barely got it under cami's zip line so i thought here was the best spot because it blocks the neighbor's windows like i said earlier so i prepped the hole got all the water in there mix it up primitive technology style and then um yeah i'm just taking the track to here just to straighten that and directly behind this i could see like a whole house and this basically covered that up and you know, eventually I'll have like 10 of these, but this is one bush that I got for free and yeah, it, it installed perfectly. All right, guys, what's good? It's uh, 4 p.m. So technically I've been on this job for like four hours. Um, really, it was like, you know, kind of an hour at my house installing those plants. But um, I kind of realized, you know, there's no point in trying to savor the other ones. You know, like I said, they're too close to a gas line or they're too close to a house and it's just a tight spot where it's not worth tearing up the grass and all that stuff. So um, anyways, I, I brought just my shovels and tarp. We're gonna go old school and just cut everything down to the stump, low as I can go. And then, um, you know, like I said, drill into it next time and pour some chemical into it. But I'm gonna just get it ready, prep it for mulch. And then next time I come over, I'll probably have to bring my trencher and fix that right side because I did mess up the edging. But um, we'll see and uh, I'll see what I can do by hand and uh, I'll try to record a little bit of it too. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I bought another chain. I got the chemical for the stump. Now I'm just filling up my water, but before I go back to the job, I wanted to talk a little bit about the plants. So I installed the biggest one 
in the backyard, kind of covering my um, neighbor's windows. And then I put the two small ones that are like more decorative in the front and I watered them. And like I said, that took like around an hour. I just hope they, you know, take root, especially the one in the back. That was the one I was surprised I was even gonna plant. But uh, yeah, I ended up planting a total of four. So more than expected. Planted a total of um, three small ones in the front and then one tall one in the back. And um, there's also this one giant evergreen, but honestly, I'm just gonna burn that one for sure. Um, that looks like Phil. <laughs> I saw Phil, dude, I swear. I have some crazy skill where I can recognize people so far with li little information. It's insane. Ask anybody who knows me and who's been outside with me. At some point I've seen someone or I've heard someone or even recognized like a movement and recognize them way before the average person can. It's crazy, dude. Like I know Phil's an exception cause like that's my stepdad, but like guys, I've been in public before. Like that video where Drew and I went biking. I've heard, I've, I heard someone scream and I was like, is that Jamie? And I turn around and then I yelled, Jamie, and she's like 150 feet away and I knew who it was. Like, I don't know, I, I just think if, if in my past life I was like a detective or something like that. I just had like a mini panic attack because I can't find my glasses. And now I manifested them in my passenger seat, which they were probably there the whole time. Um, but yeah, I was worried I wouldn't have these because I feel like one, obviously for safety, I should like always be wearing these in this industry, but two, like, dude, you get dirt in your eyes so much. Um, speaking of that, like my allergies kick my ass. So I take this, uh, it's like Flonase. It takes like two weeks to work. Otherwise, if it's not Flonase, I'll do Zyrtec just cause my allergies get so bad, bro. In the, like, honestly, all the seasons, it's really bad. I recently did like an allergy test I found out I'm pretty much allergic to everything outside. Um, I thought I was allergic to dust, but I'm not, I guess. But I'm allergic to cats, all that jazz. So it was nice to finally, you know, know for sure because it's not like I can just self-diagnose what I'm allergic to. I had to go to a professional. I picked the best industry to be in with my allergies. All right, guys, so this is the section that I had to do by hand because of the gas line right there. So originally I just pruned this so I can have access with a chainsaw. And then I eventually realized, um, and I'll get a close-up shot of it soon, but you'll see me wiping off my body like crazy. There was a huge ant, like, palace over here. Like, I've never seen this many ants. Look at this. I tried to get a close-up of it, but I couldn't be in the bed too long. Like, I never worked this fast. Once I realized that like anytime I even grabbed a branch, bro, like ants would just be crawling all over me. So quick little booty shot right there. But then um, I'm just out there super quick and uh, I'm rushing chainsaws burning. But we got her done, man. We got her done. Hey, Siri, what's the date today? It's Wednesday, the 24th of August, 2022. Look at that, y'all. I want y'all to listen to that and then go look at the video description and see what day I posted this. Same day vlog upload, y'all. That's actually why I called the job early. I spent like five way too many minutes trying to put a new chain on the chainsaw. And for some reason, I just couldn't get it. So I was like, you know what? F it. I got to get home, edit a vlog. I'll just, you know, come an hour early the next day because I do have to come back to do the mulch part. It'll take me probably like three hours to do the mulch at the absolute most. Anyways, enough about that. That's what I did today. Um, I knew that's all I would be doing today, so that's why this is a same day upload. Um, just to make sure I have something for you guys. Um, I appreciate y'all. I literally called the job off early so I could make sure I get this upload, you know, uploaded first. But uh, I don't know, this is a really uh, a priority to me now. Priority to me now um, is this daily upload. And my homie David, who is the whole reason why I, I had Cyber, he was saying how he likes, you know, he likes the consistency. So like I said, this is something I wanted to do for the people who want to see the videos. You feel me? So yeah, that's what I did today. I'm going to go to my mom's now, drop all this debris off because I don't feel like burning this. I'm going to add on to my debris pile. I don't know if you remember that last video. If you guys remember that, you guys are OGs. Fun fact about that, 
that wall actually got destroyed by a heavy machine that had to be brought on my parents property that's just life though you know like sometimes life might knock your walls down but you just gotta work hard again and build those walls right back up so oh shit hold on my tarp fell out the trailer <laughs> sorry <laughs> fucking tarp fell out my trailer in front of like the busiest intersection <laughs> where I am and I had to stop track there we go I'm trying to be all inspirational and I got my trailer dropping tarps all over the place and stuff. God damn. You guys know the saying, sometimes life knocks you down so you just gotta get back up when life knocks you down. <laughs> yeah y'all, what a day. But now I'm really happy because um, I got those three nice bushes in my front yard. I'm gonna try to water those suckers every single day especially the one in the back because I really would love the one in the back to stay alive. I don't know what I did to this filter. I can't figure it out. But anyways, what I was saying is until I get my fence up, I can't do any of the landscaping because I want to have a cedar fence on the outside, which is basically a privacy fence. And then right on the inside of the fence, if you can see that hedge right there, you see all those evergreens, that like evergreen wall that they got going on? Yeah, like they're all over. That's basically what I want to do along the fence. And I can't believe how perfect seeing those trees were to show you guys. I genuinely am looking forward to all your guys' suggestions for stuff. I can't talk, I'm so thirsty. One thing Reem suggested, shout out Reem, uh, she's a mod. And uh, one thing that she suggested was to get like a pet memorial stone for Cyber's grave and I really like that idea. And then another idea that was suggested was like get a fire hydrant for that section because he would always pee there. So I might do something like that. Alright y'all, so as you can tell, we are finally done for the day. We're unloading the trailer. This is one of my favorite parts because once you're done, you're done. Job's not done until the trailer's empty, y'all. Don't forget it. So, uh, yeah, I damn near broke my leg right there, but don't worry. I fall later, and I'm glad I got it on camera, so stay tuned if you want to watch me fall. Got the trailer clean. Now we're going to move on to the bed of the truck because we're not done yet. Work day is almost over. I have a saying that the day's not over until the trailer's unloaded. So we still got the bed of the truck though. Almost done. So you guys will see in the back of my truck, I have like this really big bag. This is basically called a bagster. These things are just basically heavy duty tarps with sides. I love them. They're only $30 and they get the job done. And they're really durable to be honest, but uh, you guys might want to watch this part right here. Hello. I couldn't keep as many of the bushes as I wanted. Oh, really? Yeah, there's gas lines and some are just too thick to dig out, so. Mm -hmm. How many did you get? Three decorative in the front and one privacy one in the back, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, better than nothing. Oh, it's Cammy. She's very, very good to get me. She was cute when I came out of my meeting. I didn't know she was here. Mm-hmm. And she was sitting at the apron of the patio doors down here. Yeah. Just like this. Just waiting for me to get on my meeting. He never even came in my office when I was in the meeting. And then we played for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good day, Cammy? Yeah, thank you, Did you have a good day? Oh, we gonna go home so I can go edit. Did you have a good day, Cammy girl? Did you have a good day at grandma's? Well, I hope you all enjoyed day six, man. Um, I honestly think I'm gonna have to call the vlog here. It's 7.04 and I gotta get home, 
shower because I'm full of dirt. After the shower, I'm gonna edit this video right away and then I'm gonna have to post it same day. This is crazy, it's 7 p.m. like I said. I'm gonna try to get this video up by like hopefully 9.30. But honestly, as long as I get it up by midnight, I'll feel good. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys found this somewhat entertaining. Hope I can, uh, you know, turn this into something enjoyable to watch. <laughs> uh, and yeah, y'all be smooth. Bye-bye.